Envia Liberty Negative Pressure Wound Therapy System, firmware 1.22 instructional video. The information in this video is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Safe and effective operation of this device requires specific instruction from a medical professional. Before initiating negative pressure wound therapy treatments, read and follow the instructions for use. The Invia Liberty NPWT system is intended to be used in conjunction with the Invia dressings only. The Invia Liberty NPWT system is indicated to help promote wound healing through means including drainage and removal of infectious material or other fluids under the influence of continuous and or intermittent negative pressures, particularly for patients with chronic, acute, traumatic, subacute, and dehist wounds, partial thickness burns, ulcers such as diabetic or pressure, flaps, and grafts. Invia Liberty NPWT system. The Invia Liberty pump is lightweight, only 2.2 pounds, has a max flow rate of 5 liters per minute, provides either constant or intermittent therapy modes, has adjustable pressure settings that range from negative 40 to negative 200 millimeters of mercury in increments of 5 millimeters of mercury. Invia Liberty Pump Disposables. The Invia Liberty disposable components include pump tubing with quick connector that consists of two lumens. The large lumen is the suction tubing that removes exudate and the second smaller lumen regulates the pressure. 300 or 800 milliliter canisters are available. The canisters both have a graduation scale to monitor and record exudate, an overflow protection slash bacteria filter that prevents contamination of the pump, and a sealing cap to assist with disposal of the canister. Do not utilize any of the disposables if the sterile package is damaged or opened prior to use. Invia Liberty NPWT System Setup Invia Liberty Pump Setup with Disposables Connect the Invia Liberty canister tubing. Insert the tubing base into the pump. Make sure the tubing is flush with the pump. Ensure the orange O-ring is in place. To click the Invia Liberty canister into the pump, slip the pegs at the bottom of the canister into the slots at the base of the pump. Lift the canister towards pump until an audible click is heard. The canister secures the tubing. Switch the Invia Liberty pump on by pressing the top right button. Initiate therapy on a new patient. To initiate therapy on a new patient, the pump must be turned on in administrative mode. To enter the administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button, then press the top right button. Acknowledge disclaimer by pressing bottom right button next to OK to confirm. New patient? Yes means that the Invia Liberty pump will issue a new therapy ID number. The ID number can be noted in the patient's chart. No means that the previous therapy ID number and settings remain unchanged. Press the button for the appropriate response, yes or no. Check the pressure level and change accordingly by using the up-down buttons on the right. Confirm the pressure level by pressing the bottom right button next to OK and begin the therapy mode by once more pressing the bottom right button next to ON. One minute after the last button has been pressed, the Invia Liberty pump switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. Administrative mode. The Invia Liberty pump has two different user modes. Administrative mode and patient mode. Administrative mode is used by the healthcare professional to either set up a new patient or change the pump settings, such as pressure, air leakage volume, therapy mode, language, or the time zone. To enter administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button and press the top right button. The lock on the screen 
will be in the unlock position when the Envia Liberty pump is in administrative mode. One minute after the last button has been pressed, the Envia Liberty pump switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. Additionally, one minute after the last button has been pressed, the backlight turns off. When pump alarms or any button is pressed, the backlight will illuminate. Change pressure level. To change the pressure level, the pump must be placed in administrative mode. To enter the administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button and press the top right button. The lock on the screen will be in the unlock position when the Envia Liberty pump is in the administrative mode. The up and down arrows may now be used to change the pressure level. Set the new pressure level and press the bottom right button next to OK to confirm the entry. The Envia Liberty pump has eight preset standard pressure levels, negative 40, negative 60, negative 80, negative 100, negative 125, negative 150, negative 175, and negative 200 millimeters of mercury. To select pressure levels between negative 40 to negative 200 millimeters of mercury and increments of 5 millimeters of mercury outside the preset levels, enter the detailed pressure mode. While in administrative mode, press both the left and right bottom buttons at the same time. To switch between standard and detailed pressure modes, select Pressure Setup and press OK then up or down button to switch from standard to detailed and press OK once more. The pressure can now be changed in increments of 5 millimeters of mercury. If the pressure is not confirmed, the pump will revert back to the original pressure setting. One minute after the last button has been pressed, the Envia Liberty device switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. Select Air Leakage Volume. Standard and high air leakage volume settings are available. The default air leakage volume is standard. When in standard mode, the air leakage alarm will go off within two minutes. When in the high air leakage mode, there will be no leakage alarm during the first five minutes, which allows establishing the set pressure on a wound with high volume without an alarm. For wounds with air leakage volume between 1,500 milliliters per minute and 2,200 milliliters per minute, high air leakage volume mode is available. To change the air leakage volume, the pump must be placed in administrative mode. To enter the administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button and press the top right button, then press the left and right buttons at the same time. To switch air leakage volume between standard and high, make a selection with the up or down arrows. Press OK to confirm. Change therapy modes between constant and intermittent. To change the therapy mode, the pump must be placed in administrative mode. To enter the administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button and press the top right button. Place the pump in standby. Press and hold the standby button for three seconds. The screen will now read change to intermittent or change to constant, depending on what the pump was originally set to. The default therapy mode is constant. Constant mode is indicated on the screen with the letter C. To change from constant to intermittent, press change to intermittent and then press on. Intermittent mode is indicated on the screen with the letter I. To change from intermittent to constant mode, press change to constant and then press on. The default intermittent settings are five minutes on and two minutes off. Changes to on and off times in the intermittent mode can be made in the settings menu. One minute after the last button has been pressed, the Envia Liberty pump switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. Change settings. The Envia Liberty pump must be placed in administrative mode to change the settings such as pressure setup, unit pressure, air leakage volume, language, 
time zone, on and off times for intermittent mode. To enter the administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button and press the top right button. Press the left and right arrow buttons at the same time. To change a setting, use the up and down arrows to make a selection and then confirm by pressing OK. If the change is not confirmed with OK, the pump will revert back to the original setting. Press the back button to exit settings screen. One minute after the last button has been pressed, the NV Liberty pump switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. Therapy log file. The therapy log file displays run times, pressure settings, therapy modes, alarms, warnings, and errors. To view the therapy log file, the pump must be placed in administrative mode. To enter the administrative mode, press and hold the bottom left button and then press the top right button. Press the up and down arrow buttons at the same time. The last 51 events are logged and displayed. To view the log in graph format, press the graph button. To exit the therapy log file, press the back button. One minute after the last button has been pressed, the Envia Liberty pump switches into patient mode automatically and the display is locked. Patient mode. Turn the pump on by pressing the universal power button. When the device is turned on in this mode, the last settings, therapy mode, and pressure settings are used by default. The buttons that function in patient mode are the power button, standby button, and the mute button. All other functions must be done in administrative mode. The pressure setting will be displayed on the screen. The device screen will display how many days and hours the device has been running under that specific ID therapy number. The run indicator is a circle with the two dots in it. When the dots are moving, the pump is on and running. The C or I indicates constant or intermittent mode. The default setting is constant. Air leak indicator. An air leakage indicator is shown in the display to visualize if there is an air leak in the system. When the indicator is empty, the system is airtight. When the indicator is half full, there is an air leak in the system. Although the pressure and therapy are maintained at the set pressure, the air leak indicator alarm will not sound in this situation. When the indicator is full and flashes, there is a large air leak in the system and an alarm will sound. With any air leak, it is recommended to check all connections on the pump side and to check the dressing to ensure it is sealed tightly. The Envia Liberty pump has two air leakage modes, standard and high. In the standard air leakage setting, when the pump is first turned on, an audible alarm will sound within two minutes if the set pressure is not maintained. For larger wounds, use the high air leakage setting. Follow the alarm chapter in the instructions for use, air leak and system, alarm code 301. When the indicator is half full, there is an air leak in the system. Although the pressure and therapy are maintained at the set pressure, it is recommended to check all connections on the pump side and to check the dressing to ensure it has sealed tightly. The air leak indicator alarm will not sound in this situation. Standby mode. The standby mode may also be known as the pause or hold button. Change the Envia Liberty device into standby mode. Press the standby button for three seconds and the motor will stop running. The run indicator will also stop. If the Envia Liberty device is in standby mode for longer than five minutes, an alarm will sound and the display will read, pump in standby mode. Alarms and warnings. The pump distinguishes between an alarm and a warning. Notification of a warning or alarm will be shown on the display with a fault number. An audible alarm will sound. To silence an alarm, press the left bottom button, mute. The alarm will sound again in one minute if the issue has not been resolved. 
Once the alarm is muted, the screen will display instructions on what needs to be done to resolve the issue. Air leak in system, alarm code 301. Visually check for an air leak on the pump connections and canister or at the dressing site to see if there is an air leak in the system. System clogged, alarm 302. Check that the tubing is clear, not kinked, and that the clamp is open. Check if the canister is full. Battery empty, alarm 305. Charge the battery. The pump will continue to work for approximately 15 minutes once this alarm sounds. Canister full, alarm 306. Change the canister. Press standby for three seconds to stop the pump. Release and remove full canister. Seal used canister with sealing cap located on the side of the canister. To insert the new canister, first remove the sticker on the canister that reads, Remove Before Use. Slip the pegs at the bottom of the canister into the slots at the base of the pump. Lift the canister towards pump until an audible click is heard. Press on to resume the pump. The motor will start running again. Invia Liberty Pump and Standby, Leak in System, Alarm Code 312. Occurs when Air Leak Alarm 301 is pending for five minutes and the pump switches into the standby mode. Visually check for a leak on the pump system. Connectors are at the dressing site to see if there's an air leak in the system. To resume therapy, press the on button on the bottom right. If the leak is not resolved, Check if the leak is at the dressing side or on the pump side. Change the canister. Press standby for three seconds to stop the pump. Release and remove full canister. Seal used canister with sealing cap located on the side of the canister. To insert the new canister, first remove the sticker on the canister that reads, Remove Before Use. Slip the pegs at the bottom of the canister into the slots at the base of the pump. Lift the canister towards pump until an audible click is heard. Press on to resume the pump. The motor will start running again. Filter clogged, alarm 313. Change the canister. Press standby for three seconds to stop the pump. Release and remove full canister. Seal use canister with sealing cap located on the side of the canister. To insert the new canister, first remove the sticker on the canister that reads, Remove Before Use. Slip the pegs at the bottom of the canister into the slots at the base of the pump. Lift the canister towards pump until an audible click is heard. Press on to resume the pump. The motor will start running again. Battery Charging To charge the battery, Plug the charger into the electrical outlet. The pump may be used while it is plugged in the outlet. The battery may be charged when convenient for the patient. The average battery life is 14 hours. The battery may run low more quickly if there is a leak in the system as the pump runs longer when a leak is detected. There is approximately 30 minutes of charge remaining on the battery at the onset of the battery low warning. If the battery is completely discharged, it will take three to four hours to charge to full status. Cleaning and disinfection. The Invia Liberty pump and associated products, docking station, rail holder, and charger should be cleaned, disinfected after each use. Wipe off with a damp cloth or wipe with a disinfecting agent. The disinfecting wipes should be used of the alcohol group. Do not use disinfecting agents such as Terralin, as this will damage the outer casing. The Invia Liberty and accessories cannot be sterilized or placed in a dishwasher.